What's up, you guys? I am Hunter March, and welcome to the only dating show that takes place in a bathroom that we know of, Flushed. Meredith Foster is looking for love. She has three men, each one behind one of these stalls. We're going to play games, ask questions, and after two rounds, we'll be left with one person who is the perfect match for Meredith. To find out about that perfect match, who that might be, I say we have them over here. What are you looking for in a guy? But I love a guy with a good sense of humor. Someone that is very genuine and honest, open and real, and just yeah. just a nice guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, we got it. We're gonna ask some questions so we get a base knowledge of who they are. We like right. to toilet seat cover our faces. Yes. Who does a Scorpio pair well with? Maybe an air sign? You know Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stall number one, what's your sign? Uh, Libra. Oh. Stall number two? Uh, Taurus. Uh, stall number three? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I think the nickname we'll give him is Nacho Libra. I like what you did there. I wonder if he likes nachos. Hell yeah. Before we get into the basics though, mm -hmm. it's time to see what type of underwear they wear. Oh, wow. Uh, Hanes. Okay, okay classic. They... That's classic. Classic boxes or boxer briefs? Uh, boxer briefs. Like form. Hanes, isn't that the same? Hanes? It's another Hanes, but are these just regular boxers? Regular boxers. Oh, so he hangs loose. Okay. Finally over here. Calvin Klein. Klein. I like dark, a good Calvin Klein. Dark gray Calvin mysterious. Klein. Mysterious. He's mysterious. Mm-hmm. First I call you Christian Grey. Do you know what that's from? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Have you read the books? No, I haven't. Thank God. <laughs> Stall number one. Please introduce yourself. Well, I love film. I love photography. And I'm currently a college student. Very good. Okay, stall uh, number three. Describe yourself in three words. I'd have to say charismatic, caring, and hardworking. Oh, I like that. Stall number two. What makes you a great date? Yeah, I really take the time to plan out the date. I really get to know the girl and figure out what she loves. And uh, I just go right for it. Okay. So you say you listen? I'm a phenomenal listener. So I call him because the way he sounds. Matthew. Okay. Okay, well, let's see how well you like them after we play this first game. It's a very good game if you want to get to know somebody. This is Never Have I Ever. This is the best game ever. Do you want to play with it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Well, I'll play too. Guys, you are going to bring a piece of toilet paper from one side of the top of your stall to the other side. This is Wipe Right, Never Have I Ever. Meredith, start it off. Never have I ever laughed so hard I peed my pants. So that means that he has. Nacho Libra, you peed your pants because you laughed so hard? Yeah. Never have I ever booty called someone. After like? 10, 10, 10. 10 p.m. purely for Matthew McConaughey, wow. Never have I ever had sex. Christian Gray, nice. Okay, yeah. Matthew McConaughey, you left yours over there because you have? Yeah. Okay. I just left it over there. Nacho Libra. I haven't. Oh, wow. 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 Like okay, yeah, wow. Uh, never have I ever used a fake ID. I have. <laughs> Meredith, so none of you guys have ever used a fake ID. Never have I ever lied to a girl. Honesty is the best policy. Nacho Libra, thank you for your honesty. No problem. Matthew Mitch? Yeah, I've never had a girlfriend, so I've never lied. Wait, what? Dude, I so don't believe you. I don't it's believe crazy. this. I'm being, I'm being 100% honest. I told you, honesty is the best policy. Never have I ever ghosted someone. I've been ghosted so many times, it's not even funny. I've done it as well. So it looks like Nacho Libra, how long were you dating the person before you ghosted them? About a week. Oh, that's okay. Nacho, I don't you're... blame you on that. Everything you say is sweet, Nacho. I like asking this one just because it's a real okay. telltale sign. Never have I ever cheated on someone. Okay. I, wait, so have any of you guys ever been a boyfriend? Yes. No. no. Have any of you I've, 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 I've dated her like for you know, two or three months, but no one I would say is my oh, girlfriend. Did so any? You've never been in a serious relationship. Yeah, I've never So done. you just, you don't like to commit then? No, I just haven't found the right one yet. That's why I'm here, to find Meredith. Uh, that, was, that was almost too so, on the nose. So All right, well, now that we know so much about everyone's past dating history, this is great. It is unfortunately time to make our first flush. Okay. Meredith, between the three men, Nacho Libra, mm -hmm. who shares not only your astrological sign, mm -hmm. but a sense of honesty that I know you love. Yes. Matthew Mitch, who has a deep voice, but potentially a shallow heart. Wow. Dang. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Dang, all these assumptions. And then finally, Christian Grey. 
who at this point. We, he's Doesn't mysterious. Have, I mean, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. I kind of like that. It's I'm going to make a decision, Meredith. <laughs> okay. Who are you feeling, Liz? Unfortunately, I am feeling Matthew McConaughey the least. And that unfortunately means you're flushed. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and meet Mr. McConaughey. Oh, uh, this, this lovely gentleman yeah. is Jordan. He's so he wanted you to know that he's athletic. He's a renaissance man. And he likes long walks on the beach. Oh, I love the beach. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wish you the best, and I hope you find love. I hope you find love. Oh, I hope you there. find love. You will. I hope so too. Thank you. You'll find love. I think you'll find love, dude. I hope so. All right. It is time to go into round number two. It is MASH. As you can see from these stalls, we've already written down the four categories. They're the same for each person. The big difference is their answers. So the categories that we're gonna have are kids, your career, your wife's future career, and location. Okay. Question number one, how many kids do you want? Two. How many kids do you wanna have? Three. All right, so we have, it's okay. It's better that you guys are different. I'd want four. I think you guys should have 29,000. What? Four. What would you want your future wife's career to be? Probably a nanny, someone good with kids. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Christian Gray, what about you? What do you want your future's wife's future career to be? Whatever makes her happy. Good answer. Wow, Way to go. Nacho wants to change his answer. I uh, do. You're earning points with me. Uh, what do you want to actually do? Maybe humanitarian, writing, public speaking, Nacho Libra. Yes. What do you want your career to be? Um, I was thinking maybe a filmmaker, anything in front or behind the camera. Okay. Okay, that's, I like that. Uh, Christian Gray, what do you want your career to be? You want to be an actor and an entrepreneur. I'm just going to write actor because entrepreneur is a long ass word. <laughs> what do you want Christian Gray to be? A doctor. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. Reliable. He's surrounded by nurses all day, so who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. But it's already locked in. Last question. Where do you want to settle down? Maybe Italy. Seems kind of chill there. Ooh, good gelato in Italy. All right, let's go like to you, it. Christian Gray. Where do you want to settle down with uh, um, your future wife? In Norca. It's gorgeous up there, a lot of mountains. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I personally think that you guys would have a great time in Pyongyang. Pyongyang. <laughs> Here's how it works. You are going to go ahead and hold this, and I'm going to pull until one of them says stop. Okay. Starting now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. We're gonna go ahead and mark off every tenth thing until you're left with only one in each category. One, two, three. Let me tell you about your life, Nacho Libra. You end up becoming a chef. The hottest place for a chef to be, Alabama. Alabama. And what's she gonna do in Alabama while she's there? It's definitely not nanny. So she ends up becoming a book star. You guys have two kids. Do you like that life? That's a nice life. Christian Gray. Tell me yeah. when to stop. It starts right now. Stop. Eight, nine. nine. Ready? One, two, three. We're gonna have three kids. We're gonna live in Utah. You're gonna be a doctor, and I'm gonna be a charity mom. Pretty good life. We're living pretty good. Meredith, the choice is yeah. yours. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. We have a difficult choice now. This is the moment of truth. Okay, so I am going to flush Nacho Libra. I'm so sorry. Nacho. I'm so sorry, Nacho. It's because of the nanny Ooh. thing. The nanny. Yeah. Nanny. Come on out, Nacho. This is Brian. He loves basketball. He's a photographer, oh. and he spends his free time outdoors. Oh. Good luck to him, and good luck to you. Brian. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good guy. Are you ready to meet the only man you did not flush today? I'm ready. Christian, come on out. Hey. Hello. Nice going? to meet you. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. Christian's real name I is have a name. Aaron. Aaron. Yes, Aaron oh, is I an love entrepreneur, that. an early riser. Me too. High five. And he used to pole vault. <laughs> what oh, happened? Whoa. Yeah, back in high school. Why'd you stop? Uh, it was just a high school thing. And I broke my back too. So that. Well, anyway. <laughs> Aaron and Meredith, you guys get to go on another date now. Thank you for being a part of this. And thank you, Meredith, for being so game. You were Aww. so great. This was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Awesome to see here for more. And comment down below who you would have picked. You can see it's like a spider.